Hi everyone, Sandman here. A couple of days ago, Psychological Cynic put up a video about his relationship with his sister and how she is a complete user and has three different children with three different men, and yet her family still gives her support. This got me thinking about relationships between brothers and sisters. I have a brother, so I don't fully understand the dynamic of living with a sister and all the emotional baggage that comes with it. But now that I've taken the red pill, I see the way that brothers and sisters are taught to relate to one another is a little bit of a mystery. Brothers are taught to protect their sisters from guys that are supposedly out to get their sisters. Parents tell their sons to essentially look out for their own sisters. When I was growing up in high school, I had a close friend of mine that had a sister that was a complete bitch, yet his parents still ordered him to look after his princess of a sister. He would pick her up from all ages clubs when she called him, or he would make sure that she got a lift home from school, or if she was hanging out with the guys, he needed to assess their character to make sure they were worthy of his sister and not taking advantage of her. I kid you not, this is the culture I saw when growing up, and now that I see things completely differently, I need to analyze it. Young men are made out to be sexual predator wolves, while women are made out to be pure white sheep with their innocence intact. But in reality, the sons are the sheeps, and the daughters are wolves in sheep's clothing. Shouldn't the parents be telling their daughters to protect their sons from the females out there destroying their self-esteem, finances, and emotionally abusing them? Many women manipulate men to get what they want from them. I don't know about you, but if I ever had a sister, I would have appreciated her warning me about other women and how they want to take advantage of me. Such knowledge would have been crucial to my upbringing. I would have seen the games that women play a lot sooner. And I would have gone my own way in my 20s instead of now in my mid-30s. Women tell their sons to protect their sister's virginity from guys out to have sex with them. This is purely same group preference in action. But fathers do not tell their daughters to protect their sons from gold diggers and emotionally abusive women in most cases. Men, it seems, are so independent that they don't want to warn each other about the dangers of women taking advantage of them. Women, on the other hand, use men to protect other women. And in this case, mothers use their own sons to protect their daughters. And the sons completely agree because they love both their mothers and their sisters. We are often told that the family unit is the most important thing in society because it creates stable relationships for children. The stability it creates makes women into spoiled princesses, always expecting that their brothers and fathers will come to the rescue over and over again. At the same time, it creates whipped men that do nothing but agree with their mothers and sisters. Is this what we call a stable family unit? Pussy whipped men and spoiled women. The breakdown of the family unit with the mother raising the children has made the situation even worse. Young men are being whipped by their mothers and sisters in single parent homes without the buffer of their fathers there to take a little bit of that emotional abuse off the table. I wonder what society would look like if fathers were the ones taking care of the children at the end of the marriage instead of the mothers. Would fathers be warning their sons about the dangers of women and telling their daughters to not be bitches? Just for the sake of fun, imagine if mothers had primary custody of children to the age of 10 and fathers had custody after that. Would children turn out any differently or would the school system just do the job of raising the children for both parents? Many of the middle class families that I know, and upper class families, hire nannies to raise children before they go off to school instead of taking those kids and putting them in daycare. And then the schools raise the children after that. Parents are hardly involved in the process of passing on any kind of guidance and nurturing to their own children. Children have everything they need to fulfill their material needs, but when it comes to their spiritual and intellectual needs, there is a great void in their lives. There has to be a way to educate young men about the true nature of women. How do we make them aware of women that are wolves in sheep's clothing and waiting to take their lives and their hard-earned money? I believe the best way to educate men is by sharing our stories online and getting them to see what awaits them. Most young men and boys see relationships in films and television where female characters behave with the motivation of male characters. What we need in media are shows that reveal the true nature of man-woman relationships. In the meantime, any of you guys out there that grew up protecting your sisters, how do you feel about this now? Would you do it again, knowing what you know today? 
Do any of you have any semi-decent relationships with your female siblings? Did your sisters actually protect you from bad women in your past? Or did they enable women to put you into bad relationships where w those women were taking advantage of you? Well, that's it for today. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. Make sure to leave some feedback about my topic. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.